perfect man versus Sack. Yep, this is the third set on Aztec, I think. And now Oz is throwing out the heavy hitters. Perfect man. The best superhero ever. His mutant power is perfection. He never spells anything wrong. But here we go. Like I said, I think the map is Aztec. Yeah, it looks like Aztec. Here we go. Except up at the 12 o'clock position is perfect man. That means <laughs> 5 o'clock in orange is Sackman, I guess. Uh, wasn't that the character in Little Big Planet? No, wait, that was Sack Boy. That's right. Little Big Planet, Sack Boy. But Oz, it seems, still unwilling to throw out Jadong. <laughs> I guess they're not that desperate yet. But they might be soon if Sack gets his third kill in this series. I'm not sure what the observers are doing there, bringing back up the menu. They're like, who's Terran again? Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Perfect Man plays the perfect race. Protoss. P for perfect and Protoss. But uh, Perfect Man is actually moving out with his probe. I'll just put in the pylon at the high ground. thought he was going to do some sneakiness there for a second. Do a gas steal or something. But nope, just plopping that pylon down on the high ground. Which will put him a little bit closer to the action. But Sack had some uh, pretty interesting reactions and builds in those first two sets. I didn't talk about that much in the last set, but uh, Sack played the first game uh, very safe, very conservative, but it was just some nice reactions, some nice reactional play from him. It just solid, solid play all around. Nothing spectacular, but uh, it got the job done, took down the first player, and the second one was all about him adapting to the situation, which he did extremely well. So he's showing some... Uh, Good stuff already. Building a barracks kind of at a hidden location, actually. I'm not sure what that is about, but it's somewhat of a forward barracks. It's not closer to the middle or anything. Creepy Bunky! Child Predator Bunky. Keep him away from your children. But the barracks is a strange position. It is, I guess, a forward barracks. It's, it's trying to keep away from the scout, but, I mean, Perfect Man's going to know what's up. Obviously, his perfect senses will tingle, and he will notice, well, where is some, everything? He's looking around. He's like, I see nothing here. I see the refinery, which means there is a hidden barracks out there somewhere. So he's going to move out and try to find it. If he suspects a proxy, he might play a, a bit more safe at the front. But no, he finds the barracks, already finds the barracks. So he knows that's out there. And the barracks is basically, a forward barracks from a Terran is basically saying, I know you're going to 12 Nexus. I'm going to be prepared for it. But this could actually hurt um, Sack quite a lot because he has his barracks so far away from his main. And Perfect Man is moving down with his first Zealot. So I see one, only one Marine being pumped from that barracks. It might have to be floated back uh, to get the re rest of the Marines in. But this could just be very, very difficult for Sack to defend since his um, main source of defense is so far away from his main. But he's already building his factory, trying to get out uh, that first uh, vulture very quickly. And once he does have the first vulture out, it is going to be a lot more easy uh, to fend off. This is going to have to be all micro from Sack. Excellent micro to fight this back. Not only does he have to fight back this freaking zealot, but he has the probe in there too to get down the SCVs that are building the factory. That's not good. Delaying the factory a little bit. But now the factory is out. It is pumping the first vulture. So good enough vulture micro will be able to fend back this attack until the dragoon comes in. But... I yeah, got the Zealots are in. I see two Zealots. I'm not sure if the Dragoons are on the way or not, but the Zealots are causing quite a bit of damage just by themselves, as Sack can't really keep up with the Micro. Yeah, he's going to definitely lose this Marine at the front as the Dragoon is coming in. Actually, the Marine just runs right by a Ninja Marine running by all of the... running out of the fray, I guess, but it's not going to be that big of a factor in this anyway but it looks like perfect man pushing the front and sack is trying to he tried to build a bunker there to get all of his marines into a much better position to defend himself but now perfect man is pushing the front uh, getting rid of all the marines and there's still just that one uh, vulture to protect everything and the vulture is not going to help much against the dragoon i mean it's going to help against the zealot of course but the dragoon is going to just pummel 
these vultures. Oh, the bunker at the front doesn't even get done, so Saki's going to have to cancel that, I think, to get his minerals ready to protect himself with basically just vultures. All he has are vultures because his uh, barracks is so far away from the rest of his base, he's not going to be able to... Uh, use marines to protect himself so i'd say wow sack has just cornered himself here all the perfect man building the perfect pylon inside the main there's one single tank the tank goes down i think that's going to be it for sack he does have uh, two more marines uh, to get some damage in here but yeah he's building another tank but perfect man creepy white guy into gg there <laughs> wow pun laden commentary he's gotta love him so Perfect Man halting uh, Huasianaz's slide into death. And now Perfect Man is going to turn it all around. Moving on to the fourth set.